Hello, so this is going to be a video on the Mini Instruments Geiger counter that I bought, so a big thank you to everybody that supported me on YouTube, Super Chaps, Patreon, or has bought merchandise, because that helps fund things like this. Now, compared to my other Geiger counters, this Geiger has an alpha probe on it, which means that I can pick up alpha radiation, which gives some very interesting results. So the unit itself takes two 9 volt batteries, and it's fairly compact, and this is a lab spec one. So it's very accurate readings, up to 2,000 clicks per minute, or counts per minute, as far as I'm aware. So I'll just show you the Alpha Probe. So this is the Alpha Probe, and it's got a little plastic cover that goes on it. So there you can see, that's the Alpha Probe itself. When you've got the cover on it, although there's a little hole in the middle of it, which I think is to stop, um, basically, uh, damage to the Alpha Probe, because if gas gets trapped in there and you push it on too quickly that could damage the alpha probe so um, with this on ignoring a little hole in it it just picks up beta and gamma radiation with the cap off it picks up alpha radiation so I'm gonna demonstrate this with a couple of different check sources so middle setting is battery check so you can see on there where the needle is basically pointing to the lower that needle is the lower the battery life so now let's put the Geiger counter on so basically, it will be picking up a little bit of background radiation all the time, but as you can hear, that's pretty minimal. So what we're going to do first is, I'm just going to go for a load of different check sources. So what's on the side of the Geiger counter is a bit of americinium, or americanium, whatever it's called. Um, basically what you get in a smoke alarm. Now you'll notice with the um, alpha shield off, that gives a very high reading because um, that's your check source. Now here's the interesting thing with the cap on you'll notice how much lower that reading is because there's very little gamma radiation coming off of that that's nearly all alpha radiation. Right so let's first look at a bit of uranium glass this is apparently um, three grams of uranium glass so let's put that there where it's visible on frame and get the probe So as you can see, that's not massively high reading, and that's with the alpha shield off. So I'll not bother putting the shield on for that, because you just get an even slightly lower reading. Next, let's look at something fairly interesting, a bit of Fiesta wear. Now, this is very hot for what it is. Um, as some of you know, Fiesta wear is basically where they thought it was a good idea to put uranium glaze on cut, uh, crockery, you know, like cups and saucers and plates, which obviously we now know is a very bad idea, so let's um, get a reading for this. And that is about 150 to 200 counts per second, so pretty high for a bit of stuff you're expected to eat off of. Okay, now let's look at an old um, radium watch dial. It's still got the glass on this. This is a German World War II service watch. So, um, and most of that is alpha radiation. There's a bit of gamma coming off of it, or beta. But if I show you this, if I put the cap back on, then do it again. Notice that that reading is much, much lower. So that's an old radium watch. Next, let's look at a bit of thorium. This is a thorium lamp mantle. Um, I'll do it without the alpha probe on. Sorry, without the alpha shield on. Pretty interesting. Another little bit of fiesta wear here. Another little bit of a mericinium um, from a smoke alarm. So let's just pop that there. Same as the check source on the side. Uh, is that the exact same size? It's very similar in size. I assume the one they've stuck on there is just a smoke alarm bit. And here's um, a bit of uranium glassware where they used to think again it was a good idea to make nice looking glassware out of uranium. Again, this isn't all that hot, but you can notice, obviously, the Geiger ticking on it. So, yeah, 
pretty fascinating little thing. As I said, I really wanted one with an alpha probe because you can get some really spectacular results with alpha radiation. Um, but you know, as I said, you can do interesting things like this, it's like see how alpha uh, radiation penetrates things. So like with the little bit of a mericinium, we'll use this bit that's not on the actual Geiger counter itself, if I put it over here. When this is turned upside down, obviously the alpha radiation can't penetrate the background bit of it. So if I do this, notice there's barely a reading, because you're just getting a tiny bit of gamma coming out the back side. But as soon as you flip that over, and the, if I can get it with my finger, there you go, and the radioactive side is exposed. you can suddenly see how much more radioactive that is. Similar thing with the watch dial. Alpha radiation is managing to escape through the glass on the front. Turn it over to the metal case back. And you're just getting a little bit of gamma coming through that. So yeah, this is very interesting. So again, a big thank you to all my people you know, who have been very kind and donated because I've wanted a Geiger counter with an alpha probe for absolutely ages. And this is, you know, a little fascinating thing if you're interested in nuclear um, sort of physics. Again, I'm a complete pleb when it comes to the understanding of nuclear physics other than understanding, you know, a bit about the damage alpha, beta and gamma can do to the human body. Um, you know, like how paper can stop alpha radiation. Um, you know, a thin bit of aluminium can stop beta radiation and that you need lead shielding to stop gamma radiation. But I said something like this is really fascinating if you just want to hear a retro Geiger counter tick. I absolutely love that sound. I mean, it's quite a spooky sound in a way, but um, yeah, especially old mechanical Geiger counters, you know, analog ones, digital ones, sadly, as much as they're a lot more practical, could not make that really cool sort of, I guess, almost like radio interference sound. But, um, The um, retro Geiger style counters do. Um, for anybody, because some people requested this, I will do an ASMR style video at some point using this thing, where I won't talk in the video. All I'll do is I'll get some radioactive samples out and I'll just do stuff like this at different distances so you can appreciate the um, noise of a Geiger counter. So there you go, there's the mini instruments Geiger counter. I'll just show you some interesting things on the back and side of it before I end the video. Let's just put the Alpha Pro back on there. So um, there's a chart there which I guess shows you how the multiplications work on the Geiger counter. The more interesting chart for me is this one which shows you relative doses of radiation. So you look at your clicks per second and then you can work out what sort of dose that is. And then there's some information on the back. Interestingly enough, this was made in England used by Indiana University, I think it says. Yep, Indiana University in America. Um, and then it's obviously turned back up in the UK for sale, where I bought it, so thanks again to all your donations. So yeah, um, something like this is very interesting. As said, if you wanted a Geiger counter for practical prepping reasons, you're probably just want, gonna want a beta and gamma sort of digital one. Um, it's the sort, size of a sort of calculator or small mobile phone, because those are a lot more practical. But something like this is really, really cool if you like retro Geiger counters um, in terms of ones that make the analog sounds and something that has an alpha probe on. Because, as said, the majority of Geiger counters do not have alpha probes because they're quite expensive to manufacture and they're quite delicate. But they are very interesting if you want to get, you know, a full spectrum reading of radiation because this can obviously do alpha, beta, gamma and x-rays. Whereas most Geiger counters just do beta, gamma and x-rays because how hard it is to measure alpha because you need specialist sort of guess vacuum tubes, Geiger Miller tubes, whatever it is that does it. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'll just pop all my radioactive stuff back in the um, little uranium pot that I've got. 
um, and that's where I store it all for now. I've got some uranium ore and tritium on order, so if those both turn up I'll do videos showing those as well. And when I've got some bananas and other stuff like that I'll demonstrate that they give off a little bit of radiation as well using this Geiger counter. But yeah, thanks for watching and thanks to all my donators because you've helped make this possible and I do really appreciate it, so thank you once again.